Hey guys, I want to do my March beauty favorites. And today is 26, 27, February 28th. I believe it's Wednesday. Let me see what my iPhone says. You know what? I went to look. I stopped at AT&T yesterday um, to look at the Samsung Galaxy Note. That thing is impressive. Yes, today is Wednesday the 28th. So I'm still waiting for the iPhone 5 to come out because I want to compare the two. But if any of you guys have that Samsung Galaxy Note phone and pad, please let me know um, if you like it, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. I'd love to hear. So, um, well why don't we start with skincare? This is the Giovanni... Um, Purifying Facial Cleanser, the detox system with activated charcoal, volcanic ash, and super antioxidants. And as you can see, I've been using it. I've been using it since I bought it. I don't remember if I got it last week or earlier this week, but I got this at Fred Meyer in the health food section. Really liking that face wash. You don't need much of it. It cleanses really well. It's very gentle. It doesn't strip my skin of the natural oils. And of course, my Rimmel Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. And like I say, they it, they claim that it will remove waterproof mascara. Although I haven't tried that out because I don't wear waterproof mascara. Um, for concealers, I've been going between the two. I have the my Cryolon um, concealer wheel. I got this at the beauty show that Vinny and I went to in Las Vegas last year. It was only $25. And I have been using um, this shade and this shade. So this I'll put under my eyes initially and then I'll put this on top if I need more. And after, uh, so I've been using that and I alternate kind of between the Hard Candy Glamouflage. I love this one too. This will be a favorite of mine for many many years to come as long as they make it heavy duty concealer it covers tattoos really good stuff um, and then I've been enjoying my Garnier Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfecting, B Perfecting BB Cream and I have it in both colors the light medium and the medium deep and I use both I use the light medium here under my eyes and more towards the mid face mid portion of my face because I have redness in here and of course circles under my eyes so I use this first and then I put the medium deep um, around the outer perimeters the rest of my face and then I will go in and usually apply another layer of this over the mid face for a little more coverage. Um, oh, I didn't bring my powder, but it's the Rimmel Stay Matte, the round one um, in silky beige. I've used it for years. I'll continue to use it as long as they make it. I love it, and I forgot to bring it out. So, um, as far as bronzer goes, I've been using my Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting in Tahitian Glow, and I love this. It comes with this great big, whoop, great big puff, and this is the product. I just love this. It goes on and it looks very natural. It just blends in with the skin tone, gives it a little bit of color, um, gives you a little bit of highlight sheen but nothing really over the top very wearable um, and I really really like it I've yet to use it wet but you can use it wet so got this off of QVC it was $45 <clears throat> for might as well continue with face products I've been using my Milani blushes these are the baked blushes and I think I have four of them and so kind of depending on the day uh, depends on which color I use this is the Rose Dioro I think this may be the first one that I got but just a beautiful it um, it's a nice combination I would say of pink and coral and then again a highlight so I really like that uh, for eyes 
I've been using my Maybelline Color Tattoo eyeshadows, the 24 hour. And this one is the Bad to the Bronze, which I love. I've also been wearing the Toughest Taupe. That one is a matte one. This is a shimmer. So this is what I have on today under my eyeshadow. And these are so creamy and so smooth and they go on so easily. I just put these on with my finger on my eyelid and up into the crease a little bit. And then I just go and apply my eyeshadow and blend it out with a brush and it works beautifully. You could wear this on its own. I like to layer a powder over just to make sure <clears throat> that I'm not going to have any creasing. This is one of the eyeshadows that I've been using regularly. It's the Revlon Color Stay 12 Hour Eyeshadow in O2 Coffee Bean. I had gotten this last week or two weeks ago at Walmart in the clearance area and I really like these shades so I've been using a combination of those and then today uh, yesterday and today I've been wearing my Essence eyeshadow in Metropolitan Sparkling Effect it's number 06 and so I have that on over my bad to the bronze and let me show you what that looks like layered over the top so there it is and I layered it up here very pretty and as my highlighter I'm loving this mystic purple the essence eyeshadow the holographic effect um, these were $1.99 each and I have this as my highlighter today and I put it um, in the hi Roxy how are you in the inner corner here and I take whatever is left under uh, on my brush and I just sweep it under my eye right here uh, before I put my eyeliner on and I love 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 this highlighter it just looks so awesome on the eye well not on my eye on my eye brow bone probably wouldn't look so good on my actual eye probably burn These powders are just very silky, very easy to apply, easy to blend, and as you can see, they're not chalky. Very impressed with these little eyeshadows. I might pick up a few more shades. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I've been using my Revlon Color Stay. Now my hands are a mess and I didn't bring any wipes out. <clears throat> Mineral Finishing Powder in Brighton. 010 Brighton. I've had this for two or three years and I use this as the highlighter on the uh, top of my cheekbones here and I just uh, use my little fan brush I took these off and uh, I apply this so what I do is I apply my bronze and I mean my uh, baked body frosting with my bronze brush bronzer brush, the brush that I use for my bronzer, and then I apply my, where did I put my blush, right here, and I apply my blush from about here out, then I put my highlighter on, and then I take my powder brush, my e.l.f. kabuki brush, and I just go over and just blend them all together. Um, so that's what I've been using on my face for my eyes I've been using my CQ brow pencil um, and what is this color I bought this at Walmart oh gosh at least a year ago they were on clearance so it was like maybe a dollar in 32 medium brown and this is what it looks like I just pencil it into my brows and when I do my brows because I'm a little sparse up at the top 
I go in and I kind of fill in that and just lightly bring it down into the tail end. And then the other side of this has a spoolie. And I just go in and brush it through. And I do that with my real high powered um, magnifying mirror. It has 10 power magnification and the light on it is... Woo! Can't miss a thing. Can't miss a pore. You don't miss a little hair, especially those in the chinny chin chin. Those older women, um, those of you older women know what I'm talking about. Then I have been using either my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil, either in zero or in perversion, depending on the day. Um, there's zero. Perversion is even darker. I love the L'Oreal liner that I showed you guys, the in extra intense eyeliner pencil, as good as um, perversion. Very dark black goes on so easily. It blends beautifully. It dries fast. It dries faster than these do. The only problem is the formula irritates my eyes. My eyes burn. So, you know, and of course that's strictly a personal thing, so that doesn't mean it's going to happen to you. And it's kind of unusual because I rarely have issues with um, products um, irritating my skin or my eyes, but unfortunately that's one that does. Then I bought this Maybelline XXL Pro Extensions uh, Dual Sided Mascara. Um, Sam Sherman uses this in her videos and I thought I'm going to give it a try. I had always thought these would just be a real pain in the butt because it's two steps. But here's the white side. And what I do is I put two coats of the white on top and lower lashes. And then um, I let it dry in between. And then I go in with step two, which is the black. It takes a little bit longer, but honestly, it doesn't take that much longer. And for me, the effect is really nice. I My lashes, like my hair, um, are kind of fine and thin. And it's easy to work with. I thought, oh man, it's going to be a pain to cover up the white. It isn't a pain to cover up the white. And if I'm in a hurry, I'll only do one coat of the white and then one coat of the black. But usually I just do two coats of the white, one of the black. I'm good to go. Really liking that product. So thank you, Sam. I'm sure you have no idea I exist, but loving that. Then, the not the last thing, but next to the last thing are lips. And I'm loving, love, love the Revlon Lip Butters. This one is in Berry Smoothie 050. I love this color. It gives just a hint of color. There's no fragrance. There's no flavor. They're very smooth. Um, and as I said in a previous video about these, the only thing I don't like is the packaging and that this black area is so small, it's kind of tricky to get it open. But they click on nicely. They, they're nice and secure. But it's just that it's just so narrow. And I always think I'm going to ding it up. But fortunately, it's retracted under the um, level of the case. So, love that. I think I have about five shades in that. And then my baby lips. This was a new discovery for me. And in fact, I just per purchased these a couple of days ago. I went to Fred Meyer for groceries and I, I picked those up. This uh, baby lips is in... Fruit Punch? Oh, it smells so good. I, th I believe it's Fruit Punch. They don't have the name on the case, I don't believe. Oh, yes, they do. Pink Punch. I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Uh, color 25 Pink Punch. And these, they smell delicious. 
but no flavor. And that's one of the things that I love about the EOS lip balm, which I wear to bed every night. Um, and one of the things I don't like is that they taste so good, so I'm constantly licking them off. Um, but when I go to bed, I don't. So, then my final favorites of March is this little bag of fragrance body oils. One of, there's a, um, where we moved to, our salon, there are several other salons in there. There's a barber shop. And one of the women who works in one of the other salons, she's new to Fairbanks. Um, she moved here from North Carolina. She got married to a military man, and they are here now. But she sells these um, designer-type fragrance oils. She orders them from somebody out of New York City. I don't know who it is. I don't know, you know, I don't want to rain on her parade. So I buy these from her. This is the Pink Sugar Women's Type. It's 100% uncut body oil. And this is a little pink. Um, the oil has a little pink tint to it. They are these little roll-ons. And this I just love. And it's just a roll-on oil. Now, the ones that are... Um, supposed to be, you know, dupes to fragrances that I have. They're close, but they aren't exact. I mean, they're missing, because these are uncut oils, they're missing some of the other notes in the fragrance, but I really like them. Chance by Chanel, Woman Type. Mm. And her theory is that these are the oils that the perfume houses use for their perfumes and somehow this guy has been able to get a hold of um, them. I don't really know the story. This is Flower Bomb Type by Victor and Rolf. I love this one too. This and the Pink Sugar oh, are my favorites. I love that one. Then I got Euphoria. Whoop. Hang on. Euphoria for women, Calvin Klein, and I have this in the perfume, and while it doesn't smell exactly like it, it's missing some of the, the peppery spice, but it still smells really good. So these are really nice to take in your purse, or if you're traveling and you don't want to take your expensive perfume. Um, and then I got the aromatic elixir type, the one from Clinique, and this is I mean, this smells so much like it. It's crazy. So, those are my um, little favorite fragrances. Of course, I love my Euphoria from Calvin Klein. I wear that. And um, um, Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. That is my all-time favorite. I used to wear Chance all the time. And then I discovered Coco Mademoiselle. And that became my favorite. So... I also have Chanel number five. Oh, and then here's another one of my baby lips. This is in the peach. What's it called? Peach Kiss. I love this one too. So, thank you so much for watching. I tag everyone to do your March favorites, whether it's cosmetics or um, craft products or craft tools, whatever. Do your March favorites, and I should get busy and do a uh, March favorites for my craft stuff, but I'm running out of time, you guys. And then it's back to work tomorrow, so. Alright, take care. I'm rambling again. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll just talk to you soon. Bye.